Hey guys, welcome back to Bartek. So we're gonna continue this town now and it is day four. And I think that we should really try to get a footman soon because we have very, very little defense. <laughs> and there we go, that the strange bug again. I don't know if I can solve it in any way or not. And it's one thing that I would like to try and see if they have fixed it. Like they added a feature so we can like bring back stuff again. So if we would like, let's say we would place an um, share outside here. We should be able to like get us back to this stockpile again with a uh, feature they added. So I'm just gonna see if it work. It did not work with the Steam opt-in, so I'm curious. Undeploy. So we'll see if anyone is gonna go and pick that up or not. Oh great! Okay, so they fixed it. So that's good. We can undeploy things. And a bit of scared about this. Like I placed a curtain after the house was done. And it got all red here, and sometimes this, uh, when these red things, like things that shouldn't be there, have given me problems before, so I'm a little bit scared about it, so... We will see what's gonna happen with it, I'm not entirely sure. But we should get uh, going with these other houses that I was about to build. So this is pre-made houses, they are... Templates. I guess we can start to build both at the same time, why not? It's gonna take a lot of time, but... Um, yeah, probably should get maybe some more wood. Maybe not the best time to go and try to grab wood, I don't know, because um, it is night time and we might get invaded by goblins now. So if people are away cutting trees, it might become a problem, but uh, yeah, it's, it's day again, so we might be safe. At least that's what I felt with it, that they mainly come in during night but they do come during day sometimes i think the night time would be better like they have raids during the nights it would uh, would would feel more like logic i would say so it seems like they're like getting up the columns first and the floor and after that they start to build the walls so these two are gonna give us four more beds in total and uh, I think we're supposed to, yeah, we're supposed to get another bed here. So that means that we will have eight beds and we are seven people in this town so far. So that means that we will be good with that part. So everybody will at least have a bed. And I guess the thing after that would be that we would like to like upgrade the comfy beds and get away these mean beds. So that would maybe be the next step. But I also want to make this... Uh, Storage house, which I almost always make when I'm playing this game. I just think it looks way better than having all the resources outside here. It's just an aesthetical thing for me, I would say. So, let's see here. We only have three normal workers. I think I'm gonna leave them as normal workers. We haven't really had any problems with uh, any goblins so far. So it's been pretty safe for the moment, but uh, it's only day four, so it's get like harder and harder the longer you go. So we will need it eventually. So trade approaches. Hello, Bartik. I'm just passing through, but I've been can see that you have a skill craft in your ranks. If you make me eight mean beds, I'll be back with three days. I might be able to give you one plushy toy rabbit. No, no, no. I don't know if there are any like point of having any of those yet. Was it Felix that we did get in level, by the way? It's level 3 Carpenter. When inspiration strikes, the Carpenter may embellish his works in unexpected ways. That's interesting. I wonder what that means, or if it's just a thing that's not in the game for the moment. Extended catalog. The Carpenter now has the courage to try more elaborate projects. 10,000 hours, not implanted. And I'm a bit curious about that book there. Because you can see inside here that we have unlocked everything inside here. But there might be more than that that's uh, hidden for the moment. So that's interesting. That's gonna be fun. Really looking forward to see what that's gonna bring us. And what is our carpenter doing for the moment? Okay, making those flower. 
and I'm not sure if we have those flowers and the game is pretty pretty stupid with some things for the moment so if you make a queue and you have something that you cannot make they will like stop at that and don't continue on with the next that they can do so uh, hopefully they're gonna change that because it, it is really 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 bad at things so it would be like imagine if in real life if, if that would happen like okay we're out of stock for this thing and yeah, let's keep everything else. Let's go home. <laughs> Screw this. I'm going home. Um, but we need to get more flowers if we want to do this. So we're going to make a ladder down to this place. And get down these flowers. And the reason I choose to make them instead of uh, maintaining them. It was basically because I do not have an infinite amount of uh, flowers for the moment. We can grow flowers though in uh, this version, so that's something we're gonna do later. And we're getting attacked by goblins. Oh great, our people are coming down to help, that's good. They're actually doing pretty good here. Oh! What's going on with this invasion? There haven't been any goblins at all and now they just pop out everyone? What's going on here? I don't think we lost that one. But the game, it is pretty strange with these things. Like for the moment, I haven't played long at all, but I got you know, like the biggest invasion of goblins ever, like 15 people now. Or at least 10 of them. And I haven't almost had any uh, goblins coming at all. So sometimes it feels like they build up or something like they don't come one night and then they end up coming like three, four waves at the same time. Wow. And I'm surprised we did beat them. I, I thought my people might die there, but, but I guess uh, the experience they gain when they gain some more level, gain 10 more in health, um, did help a little bit there. That was a bit scary. I think we should. I think we should remove this ladder. But um, at the same time, it was pretty good at all of them came down here so if we keep this we might get all of the goblins from down here instead of um, some here and maybe some from this side so I actually think I'm gonna keep the ladder for the moment would be pretty cool if they came from here all the goblins and we'd put like arches here at the wall and just shoot them down as to try to like approach and take our stuff so why can't they just go and chop down their own wood, build their own town? And then we can have war between the towns. So I think these are almost done and we might, do we need more wood? Get away this thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna get, get some more wood, just to be safe. Oh, it goes downhill here, okay. So we gotta go around here and take some more. But who knows, it might be that... Um, for the moon with the goblins, why they came like that, might be that... They didn't find any space to like spawn around here and come and kill me, so... Once I build this ladder... Every one of them has been building up during that time. Choose the game. So that's um, a bit strange. I would guess like in the future you're gonna see goblins coming with maybe even siege weapon on those, but I would guess like uh, torches and they will come with ladders and try to put them up and build them and try to access your town from all kinds of weird uh, places. Would definitely make it more interesting I would say. And more painful for us. So after this house, um, we're gonna make an. Um, maybe I think, I think we're gonna keep actually. We're gonna keep this stockpile for a while, and um, we're gonna make an like the dining house. They made it like a pre-made one, but uh, we're gonna make our own dining house. So it's gonna look a little bit more, more special, I guess. And I really want to get more people. I want to have more people join our town. It's gonna be really great when I get one to join. 
And I think the food, the food has got a good rating. Um, we do not have like incredible amount of food, definitely not. But uh, I think we have so we can survive. But we will need like footmen soon. We will need probably another farmer. Who knows? We might, and we need workers. I need tons of people. I want more. I want it all. Let's see. Traveler, awesome. You guys really look like you can need to use a hand. A carpenter would like to join. Welcome! Bio founder has joined Bartek. Welcome to the town of Bio. Here he is. So that's good. Um, but we are going to change the job for him. So he's gonna become. Um, it's gonna become a normal world. I'm gonna go inside here and check up a few things. Yeah, as I thought, we was not maintaining any workers' outfits, so we always gonna try to keep. Let's keep two of them. So that way we're gonna make uh, workers work better. They will be gonna be ten percent faster. So that's gonna help a little bit. In the long run, it's gonna make a huge difference. So I'm really happy that I got some more people to join up with the town. And we have enough beds as long as they do go and place them. So we should have eight beds once uh, the beds get placed and... We should get going and... Uh, create our new house. So let's make a dining house, a tavern. This is where people are gonna go and... Eat together. I mean, you could have like probably some are gonna go into their own houses and eat at their tables, but this is gonna be like a place you can you can go together and go have a snack. So I'm gonna make like in between the houses, um, a decent big size. Since we're gonna fit in tables, chairs, all kinds of things in here, uh, we're gonna go for an um, white wall just to make it look uh, like stand out a bit from the normal houses we got here. And we should get a door, of course. Maybe we should try this big door. I'm not sure if it works, I haven't tried it out. Should we do it? I don't think so. Not for this house. So we can have one... Let's have like two... Should we have one entrance? I think we should have two entrances. Let's go for two, just to make this look a little bit different. Oh yeah, we're gonna have windows, so there's gonna be pretty many windows in this house. Uh, I think a tavern, you should be able to like sit inside, you should be able to sit there and eat and just watch what's going on. So we're gonna have a few of these. We're getting attacked. <laughs> Okay, we got one more down here. We do not want to lose anyone. I'm really happy that we got an extra one. And I do think we defeated all of them, hopefully. Okay, so let's get back to making this house. So we got a lot of windows. We're gonna get some more windows, of course. And uh, one at that side and one at that side and... Let's see here, one there and another one. So I want to have a lot of windows on my tavern. Yeah, let's go for another one there. Maybe that was too much, I don't know. People are gonna be able to like sit inside, eat, they're gonna be able to watch outside what's going on. So they're gonna be able to see like the nature, even though they are inside here. So I think we should go maybe for all direction for this house. Should we... Make it like this. And have it a little bit higher. Should we go for this? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for all directions. And um, we need furniture, of course. So we're gonna have a curtain here. And I wonder if we're gonna be able to keep placing curtains because sometimes it really is like, oh, you can only place exactly what you have for the moment. 
it does seem like I can place like new ones, I have to go and click every time. This is the bad part about having windows too close like I have here. You see that, oh god. Can I remove that one? Did I remove something? Can I remove it please? Please let me remove that thing. Oh my god. I can't remove it. Or can I? Delete? Nope. Remove. I think we, are, we just can have to live with this. Sorry for that. It's just what happens. There are some lacking tools in the game, that's for sure. And uh, let's get some more of these. Oh, this, this is... Let me fix this. Holding in shift didn't help either. In some games you can like, I think it's shift, you can hold in and you can keep placing the same thing. And it works. And there's some lacking names here. I think we should get a tooltip up when we're building something. So I'm just gonna make sure because I think this might be table for one. Table for one. And I think it's this... Uh, I think this is the dining table that you can place like really close to each other. So we're gonna go inside... Oh, they're actually making it for a moment. Okay, so that's good. Because I think it's table for one that... Um, is the one that you can place like really really close to each other and that is what we want to do with this so once did the gate they get that done okay what are you doing what are you waiting for do something move it greater approaches Hello Bartek, I'm just passing through, but I even I can see that you have a skilled craft in your ranks if you make me seven simple wooden chairs. I'll be back in two days and I might be able to give you five curtains. Simple wooden chairs. Okay, let's go ahead. that. So... Seven simple wooden chairs. So I'm gonna craft ten of these. This is just to... Like, be sure that I'm gonna get them. If I can swap these around. It worked. So, are we getting these things done or are they gonna keep screwing up? No, here we go. So, let's start placing these down. Um, where should we start? Maybe we can have like two sides of this. We can make a huge one. So, let's make that. Yeah, let's continue with this. And I'm gonna make it go down here and I'm gonna make it go from uh, at the other side here as well. So it's gonna be a huge house where people are gonna be able to go and eat that. Where's the door by the way? Okay, so we're gonna stop there. And... Should we... Yeah, this should be the area. So we're gonna make it go down here as well. This is a door in the way though. But it's just gonna look more interesting when it does not look exactly the same on both sides, I think. And we need to have simple shares, so oh my god, we're gonna need so many shares for this house. So we might screw up that uh, quest we got. But yeah, I would recommend, do not try to place so many windows so close to each other, because the curtains, it goes together so strange with each other that way, so I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, so I'm gonna try to avoid putting windows too close to each other in the future. Because it just does look a, a bit strange. Very strange. Oh, there's gonna be so many chairs here. This is gonna have to be like the official eating place. Because, I mean, <laughs> everybody in our entire game is probably gonna be able to go here and eat. I mean, how many chairs is inside here? But at the same time, it's pretty cool to make something big. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can make some table at the side where... It's gonna be some special place. 
No. Where are they? Goblins? Kill them. Did we get all? No, there's one down there. Go get him. I'm gonna check so we haven't get in any trader coming. Um, adventure, I think the name. So we haven't got anyone who wanted to join. Oh, our stockpile is getting full. So we should make um, it a little bit bigger. Let's remove that again and like that. Back to the house. So what more should we do with this? Oh, so that got placed down? I don't know if there's any way you can move this when once you place them before you have built it. Please feel free to tell me. I, I mean, I can probably move them hopefully when I made this building, like when they're placed and moved around. It's and probably gonna go red since it's really strange for the moment. Uh, let's have one chair this side. So one guy is gonna be able to sit here alone in this corner, I guess. And we should have some other things inside or outside of this. We can have like uh, these flowers. And we can have maybe here it might look. Yeah, we can have in between those windows. Have one more to have. Yeah, let's go over that side. Maybe we should have had it outside of wind like that. So we might move it later on. And we can have like one banner, why not? And the thing is, it's just so many like curtains inside here, so it might just maybe look strange if I had too many of these. Oh, what is that? This must be in by the carpenter. The unexpected thing. Oh, we're not gonna waste that for a moment. So that's, that's pretty cool. I wonder what that's named. That's interesting. Let's check it out. Where do we have it? There we go. A fine wooden chair. So that's pretty cool that you can get like those uh, unexpected crafts. That's really nice. But guys, I think this is gonna be it for today. So in the next episode, we're gonna start building this uh, new tavern, which is gonna be huge as you see here. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.